following video explains the setting, respectively resetting of a encoder value in a Mitsubishi FX5U. Hello and welcome back. This is Gazzello from Zello Press Control Systems and here is how it goes. You can either reset the encoder to the value zero or you can reset the encoder to a predefined value which I explain right now. If you want to set the encoder to a predefined value, you need to program this code right here where you just uh, make an initializing uh, instruction right here in front of the DHR, DH, DHSCR, sorry. You need to put the K181 in there and the K1 and K1 for the channel 1. And then um, also you need to go to the high speed I.O. The detailed settings in the high speed I.O. And then you will find the preset value in this item here. If you put any number in here, make sure you make a check and you apply it. So remember we had the value 180 in there. And if we go ahead and uh, I'm just gonna check if the encoder is actually reading. It does, it, you can see that right here, it does. Now we will set the M3 to high and turn the encode of direction forward and then we will see you can see the encoder counting on the x0 and x1 and if we reach the value 180 the encoder value will stop even while the encoder still moves so this way you can move your axis to a, to a certain position and it will always stay at the 180. And if we switch the M3 off, we will have this value stored and then we will be able to go back and forth accordingly to the position of the axis. Another thing is to set the encoder value or the counter value to zero. This uh, will be done with this code. Also, you need an instruction, an initializing instruction again in front of the DHCMOVP and move this to the uh, SD4500 also on the channel one. If you do this, what will happen here, the value will be, the, the actual value in this case, the 175 will be moved to the D4502 and the actual value in the SD4500 will be written to zeros. If we try this, you will see the value changing accordingly if everything goes right there it is so the actual value of the axis of the counter is now zero and the old value is stored in the d4502 and this is how you can reset the encoders in the mitsubishi fx5u either to zero or to a predefined value and thank you for watching